Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today we're gonna to be talking about a brand that I've probably only touched on in my YouTube videos. I've not actually done a full review on her brand. This is a big, massive clue. It's not every day that I get really excited about a launch and this has really excited me for a number of reasons which I'll show you in the video. I thought I would talk to you today about the new Danessa Myricks launch. So this came today. I had a Sephora birthday gift so I needed to order something and this was something I had my eye on and this is the new Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 6 Freedom Palette and it's an illuminating pigment colour for eyes, face and lips and I thought today would be great to show you a look. I'm actually going out tonight to a concert because I won a competition and I was able to go and see Ray who is a amazing British artist who has really kind of I suppose ignited my flame for music again because there wasn't a lot of music out there that I was getting inspired by and so I thought today would be a great opportunity to do a look so that my look is all good and ready and then I can just go out and I'm done so I thought I would show you this amazing launch. I have some makeup on already. I decided to use the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. I have the colour in the shade 4 but I mixed it with a little bit of bronzer from Chanel because it's a little bit light around sort of my hairline so I made sure that that was kind of sorted out. But in terms of the colour itself it's a great colour match. I remember doing a sort of review where this was part of products that I looked at and was very very impressed and the texture is really interesting. It melts into your skin and it's very balmy which is really good for someone who is older or who has skin that is a little bit more drier or you just want some moisture in your skin. It's also got a blurring effect as well. So I just thought I'd let you know that I have her product on. I don't actually own, other than this, any other Danessa Myricks product which really surprised me because I think I haven't really explored her brand as much and I am excited to try more from her brand, including her concealers. I've seen those and they look really, really good. I do have some concealer on at the moment. This is the Clay de Peau concealer and I've got some powder, which is my Patrick Star powder that I have been using for such a long time and it's so, so good. It was during his collab with MAC. It's just a great powder and it's a shame that he's not doing that anymore because I bought lots of backups because it was so, so so good. Anyway, we're here to discuss the Vanessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 6 Freedom Palette and there is 18 times 1.2 grams of each colour. It's designed in the US but it's made in China from domestic and international materials so this is going to be really interesting for me because I've never tried Danessa's eyeshadows so this is going to be like really exciting for me. This also is for the eyes, the face and the lips so that's why I've got like a real kind of blank canvas because I want to see what I can do with this. This is so innovative. It's magnetic, it's stackable, it's customizable. Unlock the power of infinite possibilities with our groundbreaking, magnetic, customizable, stackable and collectible on the go all over face palette. This fully customizable design contains three curated color stories and 18 mesmerizing shades. Use these simple one swipe colors alone or travel up and down rows for infinite possibilities and looks. The Lightweight 6 Freedom Palette, your look, your way from base six to beyond. It tells you the shades and it says how to use it, which is use curated color stories or mix and match shades from every section, swipe or tap all over the face. Now when I open this, this was really well packaged and I just accidentally dropped it now. So hopefully I haven't broken or smashed anything inside, but it was really well packaged, which I was very impressed with because the palette is quite large and you don't want to have an issue where it comes and there are bits that are broken. Let's take a look inside. I'm gonna open it now for you. So I kind of semi opened this before because there was so much packaging and I just wanted to kind of show you roughly what it looks like. You get a travel pouch, which is really, really clever. I think a lot of people like to travel with their palettes now and it gives you that opportunity to take it with you and design the palette how you'd like it to be. This has a kind of opening that's very similar to the old fashioned sunglass case or glass case back in the day, but I think it's a really 
great extra bit to the palette. I've already opened it up, but I just wanted to show you inside. This is so innovative. It's something that I've never seen on the market very recently or for the last couple of years. It's very clever. You have a section here which you can remove. So it says Vanessa Myrick's Beauty Light Work Volume 6 Freedom Palette. You open it up, I'll just kind of show you. And then inside here you have the shades and there's a cover for it. And then you've got all the colours in here. Now I've played around with it a bit, so I might have moved the colours around. I hope I haven't, but that's what it looks like. It's so exciting to see a palette with colour. I think Pat McGrath is probably the only other brand. Urban Decay used to do a lot of this, but this is really interesting in terms of a colour story. It's very exciting. It's got me excited. I'm really like keen to see how I can use these shades. What's amazing is obviously you've got these sections and they've been sectioned out. Each part of this has a magnet underneath. So you can see I've removed the first one. This is the first color story. Then you've got another one, which you can just remove. This is just amazing. And then you've got the final color story, which is here and it's absolutely gorgeous. This very much reminds me of a palette when I was freelancing. I would have a palette where you could see all the shades and it was really easy to do makeup on my clients because they would all be in this kind of palette. And I love the fact that you can take everything out and it's amazing. That doesn't stop there. So do you remember earlier when I said, oh, this is just the front of the palette? You can take this front bit off, which is so good. I'll show you how it kind of comes off and it's a mirror and that's just so clever. So you've got a mirror behind which can be taken apart with the actual palette. This is the best bit. Say I wanted to travel with just one, I would click it into place so it's magnet and I would take my little case and I would put it in to the case like so and then I would pop it in here and done, that's my palette. I would take that traveling, I would use that palette all holiday, whatever I wanted to do, and it would be safe in my little pouch. I would remove it like so, and oh, there you go, one palette. Oh, but you know what? I might wanna take two. This is even better. You take the other palette and you do that, and then it becomes a two stack. You take it, you put it on top, and again, stack it that way. I look, I apply the makeup, use that mirror. You know, I struggle when I go on holiday to find a mirror sometimes because sometimes the hotel room doesn't have the close-up mirror that I need and this is just perfect. I take my pouch and I go, oh, okay, so I'll take those two. Fits in the pouch perfectly. The two sacks or the stacks that I've now combined into two fits perfectly. So I'm like, wonderful. No, I think I want to take the whole palette. Is that really going to work? So let me show you what I'm going to do. Remember when I said there was a two stack? It was a three stack now and that's just so clever. So you can do this in whatever order you want and take whatever palette you want. So I'm like, I'm gonna take all three now just because I just want choice. So I then use the actual topper with the mirror that's there, shut that, and I'm thinking, will this fit? Oh my God, isn't she clever? Wow, it fits. The whole palette fits into the pouch. Outstanding packaging. I have not seen this kind of packaging in a long, long time. And I think we are all kind of like happy that there's like someone who's being innovative with the makeup and doing something really interesting. And Anessa, I've always watched her videos. She's been really inspiring, but I've never bought any of her items. So this is gonna be a real kind of learning curve for me today as to how I feel about the different textures that she has in her eyeshadows and how I'm gonna use this palette because it's a multi-use palette. So hopefully if I take this, I won't need a blush or any kind of lip enhancer. I don't see this as a one and done lip. I'm gonna need a lipstick still. It's still really, really versatile. I just wanted to kind of show you that because the design is absolutely outstanding and it's just so, so clever. So now let's look at the palette as a whole. This is the palette as a whole and I really love the way that it's been divided. So I can do effectively three different looks because they're like three different color stories. So let me tell you what each of the shades are called. We've got Serenity and Dance, Joy and Rejoice, Love and Bliss, and then in the middle section we've got Release 
and free, fluid and euphoria, unbound and empowered. And then to this side, you've got proud and rise, higher and gleaming, which is this side, and unapologetic and nirvana. They are just stunning. And I'm really excited to see what I can do with these different textures and to see how I would use it. I am going to swatch all of these for you first, just so you can see in natural light, you can see what it looks like against my skin tone. So I thought it'd be best to swatch it by colour, story or family. So we're starting off with this one and oh, this is so pretty. But let's take a look at the swatches. So I have swatched these for you in advance. These are all the shades and they are just beautiful. They remind me of Natasha Denona a little bit, but also Pat McGrath. Very, very similar in terms of the kind of finishes and just the way it looks when you swatch it. Very smooth and just really, really beautiful. I love this last shade here. Gorgeous. Right, so moving on to the next palette and this is a gorgeous colour story. So I'm going to show you my arm swatches now. So these are the arm swatches and they are gorgeous, really up my street, very pigmented and lovely in terms of the different textures that she has. We're moving from like chromatic shades to shades that are matte, shades that are satin. They just shift and look gorgeous. Just so excited to see how they're going to look on the eyes. Right, so this is the final of the three and this is like my go-to colour story that I always love because it's got my favourite purple shade in there. Let's take a look at the arm swatches. These are gorgeous. You can see how stunning these shades are against my skin tone. I think these are going to look gorgeous on any skin tone because they're just so well pigmented. And you can see the different formulas there. So beautiful. So let's start off with this one and let's see what we can create because I'm so excited. I'm going to use my mirror to basically make sure that I'm putting it on okay. Oh wow, I don't even know where to start. It looks so, so pretty. I want to see if I can use any of them like as a blush because I just think this is going to be quite versatile but we can dip into the other colours if we need to because I feel like I don't want to restrict myself. Let's start off with this. So I'm going to start off with this shade first. It's a bit hard because I've got to hold the mirror up and the eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this shade and I'm taking a very small brush. This is my Hacky Hodo brush in B5520 when I used to do my makeup way back when. So I'm going to just use it to go into like my crease and create a little bit of a shape there just to get some lid space going on and to kind of line it a little bit take the same shade the reason i'm doing this is because this is the one that's most matte from here you try and wing it a little bit i'm literally just taking the color and using it to outline a bit of a crease. I'll do the same with the other side. And then using any excess to kind of wing it out. It was just to create a bit of shape on both sides, just on the eye socket. And then you can either fill that in with the same shade, which I might not do on this occasion because I want to see how these other colours work. So I'll go with this shade here. I'm going to take my flat Sonia G brush. I'm in the Artisan collection she did. It's quite sparkly this one, so I'm going to see how this looks on the lid. And I'm going to try and fill in that lid space. And I've filled it completely with this gorgeous sort of orangey shade. And I actually think that works. So I'm gonna do the other side now. I like this brush because it's nice and flat. So it applies it really lovely on the eye. You can see that I filled that area in with the shade. It's really lovely on. So I've got 
those two shades right now and I've lined that and then I've put the orange there just for something a little bit different. I might take that shade. I'm gonna use my finger for this because it's picked it up really beautifully. I'm gonna put this shade on the inner part of my eye and I'm just playing with the colours because there's just so much you can do. That's really created something really interesting with the eye and I'm just done it to the other side and just kind of opened up the eye a little bit more. This is the type of palette that you have to play around with because the colours are so vibrant. If you're worried about making a mistake, it's worth just playing with it first and seeing what works for you. So literally this is all an experiment. I'm gonna go back to that shade there and I'm going to line it, I'm going to go in, take the shade and then line it underneath. And I'm just doing the other side. Just creating something a little bit different for the eye. Just connecting it at the end, any excess that I've got on the brush. And I'm just winging it. So I have got about three shades on at the moment. I've got the darker shade here, I've got the orange, and then I've got that green shade. And then what I might do is add a little bit of highlight on the inner corner. I'm just gonna take that shade there. It's a lot more golden than it is bright. I thought it was gonna be more sort of white, but when I've put it on my eye, it looks more kind of golden on the inner corner. So I've just put that there. Kind of connecting it, taking any excess and then putting it on the brow bone. Just added it so there's just something a little bit extra on the brow bone there. I've pretty much used all the colours except for the, the two at the end. So this one and this one. But I might try and take this sort of brownish shade and see if I can make a little bit of a blush out of it. So I have a little Sonia G brush and it's again from the same set. This is her Worker L brush. And I'm gonna tap into the satiny shade, but I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand because I don't want it to be too pigmented, but I want enough to kind of give me a bit of pigment so that I can put it on my cheek. So I'm just taking it on my hand and I'm gonna dab it on my cheek. And probably get away with more I think. But I just wanted to see how it looks as a blush. I could probably go in more because it's not as pigmented as I thought and just tapping away some of the excess and taking that shade and using it as a little bit of a blush. You can see that coming through now. This is a great brush for picking this up because it's a nice size that can dip into that shade but also it disperses the product, you can see, really well and evenly. So I'm just gonna do that. And I'm literally just taking my brush and blending it out so that it doesn't look too full on. But I wanted to show you like how versatile this palette can be. So that's lovely because I've just taken that. And you can just take a little bit of the excess and put it on the nose as a kind of contour. Nice, so I've literally taken that shade which I use as a base, as I use as a blush, and kind of really emphasized the cheek area. So I'm going to maybe add a little bit of the orange on the cheeks. Just wanna see how that looks as a kind of highlight. I might take that orangey shade, which is there, and just tap a little bit of the product off and then use it as a kind of highlighter just here. Nice. It's definitely giving me pat vibes, just in terms of the color stories and the consistency. So I'm taking that 
orange and blending it in with that sort of brownie burgundy shade and I'm trying to do a little bit of a highlight here on my cheek. So I'm just trying to kind of use both products together. It's very nice. And I'm just taking any excess and well, that's really pretty. Okay, so I've gone away and I've added some mascara, some brow, some liner, and the new Suku lip that I recently reviewed on my channel because it's quite like a cool tone pink. It's a really lovely pink and I just thought it goes well with this. So what I thought I'd do is I really want to try and see how I can take this up another notch using the pigments. I'm going to try the colour here first. It's got a shift to it, so I'm really excited to see how this is going to look. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll put it on the eyes, I think. It's a very gorgeous kind of greeny shift, very much like the Natasha Denona one. I think it was called Scarab, very similar. Initially, I was gonna put it on my lips, but I think I might put this on my eye and then put the more yellowy shade on my lips. So I'm gonna take this and just see where I can put it. So I might just put it here. What it's done, it's kind of like just made that a little bit more dreamy this shade by adding it onto the inner part of my eye. You can see how that's just taking it a notch upwards, but you can really play with this. I actually go over my, the majority of my lid now, because I think this is very beautiful on. It's creating a, a gorgeous shift on my eyes. So pretty. I forgot how much I love the colour and when you have a gorgeous sort of palette like this to play with you can really experiment and just take it up a notch. What I've literally done is taken that shade and I've put it over my lid because I feel like it's elevating the look and taking it somewhere else now even further. Got that green and I've used it on my lid and wow that is just stunning. I'm just cleaning up, I'm just cleaning up the eye a little bit. You can see how these shades are all working really gorgeously together. Okay, so now I've done my eyes and I'm happy with my eyes. I'm going to use that final shade, which is that yellowy shade. And I'm going to see if I can just dab it on my lips. Just grabbing her mirror and adding it to... the lips but like just on a kind of highlighting oh that's really nice actually taking it around the lip and I've kind of blended it in with the lip just taking the pigment and oh wow that's really shiny <laughs> goodness me uh, I'm gonna blend it out of it I kind of wanted to see what I could get, the effect. Um, and if you feel like you've got too much, take your finger, blend it. But you can see how by adding it to the top of my lip, it's just created this new shade. You can do lots of things. You can blend it into the lip that you've got already, which is what I'm doing. Kind of creating a new look using that pigment and it's kind of made that pink into this sort of gorgeous goldy pink it's really nice and then just taking the rest of it and you can see how that's just elevated it wow beautiful that's really surprised me wow that's so, so pretty. So this is look one and we haven't even looked at the others yet, but let me show you it. So you can see that it's all been experimental. I just wanted to try out all the shades. This is the look and it's really, really pretty. So 
So I've just got away and we're now going to look at this palette and I'm very interested to see how this is going to look. Now obviously I can't do a blush with this so I'm going to have to take it from another palette but we will do an eye look highlighter, do what we can with these shades. So let's take a look. Let's start off with this blue shade that's got this sort of satiny finish. I am going to line my eyes again very similar to what I did before. Taking the blue using it in the crease of my eye, doing the same again. Nice, and doing the same. I'm literally just carrying it like this so I can see the mirror on this side. Taking any excess and trying to wing it out a bit. Doing the same again. giving the eyes just a really nice sort of shape using that shade. I think it's a really nice way to guide the color onto the eye. So let's go into this shade here. I'm gonna take that shade and just put it on the eye, but lay it flat like I did before. So it's this gorgeous kind of lilac shade on the eye. Taking that flat brush, taking the color, doing the same thing on the other eye. It's really giving it a rich sort of colour on the eyelid. Very, very pretty. This, um, we're going to try this darker purple and I'm going to take that shade, just pat a little bit onto my brush, put that on the outer V. Just put it in the crease. You can see how it's sort of deepening the crease compared to this side. Doing the same again. blending the two together into the crease like so. Just create this more deeper effect on the eye and I might just take that shade and just slightly wing it out a bit. You can see it's kind of deepened on my eye and it's giving it a really lovely contrast in terms of the shape. Blended those three shades out that I used and now I'm going to go into this one here which is this turquoise shade. For this I'm going to use my finger because I want to put this on my eye just there to give me a brightening effect on the eyelid. It's very pretty Combined together, you can see how gorgeous that looks. I'm just going to do that with the other side. Really pretty. I like that a lot. That is the look so far using the four shades from the palette here. Really, really gorgeous. So I'm now going to take one of these shades. So I'll try this one first. Let's see. And I'm going to see if I can put that on the inner corner of my eye first. See whether it brightens up the inner corner. I think there may be a shift in this one. It's a bit darker than I actually think it is in the palette. So what I'll do is I'll take this shade here. It looks a bit lighter on the brush. And I'm just going to put it on the inner corner. It's actually got like a, a blue reflex. It's quite interesting. I thought it was going to be white, but when you swatch it, it's kind of iridescent blue. This is the inner part of the eye. Right, so I'm thinking it might be a good idea to go back to this palette and just do the blush again, just to get some kind of colour on the cheeks. And I didn't want to explore the next palette. I didn't want to spoil it yet. So let's go into this shade, which is the previous one we did and just get a little bit of blush going on. So I think this color is going to be used a fair bit because there's only a few that I would use as a blush, I think. So I'm just going in now and just getting that color to show up. Just to finish the look off, I'll use a little bit of that blue. I will put a little bit of the blue on the lower lash line. I'm going rogue now, no mirror. <laughs> and then here. Nice. I'm 
Right, so I've just gone away. I've added some mascara and some liner. Just wanted to complete the look. So I'm gonna take the one that looked kind of bluey, which was this one when I put it on. I'm gonna add a little bit on to the lips just to give it a little bit of something extra. So using the same brush I did last time and using my pink lip, I'm going to put a little bit on my lips there. It's given it something extra. I tried to keep it a little bit more subtle this time around, but you can see how it's given it a little bit of a glow and it's very, very pretty. So this is look number two using this gorgeous palette. Okay, so we are now moving on to the final palette, which is the one that is like my dream color scheme. This is the color that I enjoy wearing the most. I think I'm gonna lay that shade. And I'm gonna take that, just put it into the crease. Definitely gives me Natasha Denona vibes. The Love Palette. Very similar. I'm gonna take that shade here and I'm gonna put that on the outer V. Just wanna see how that looks. So it's just kind of brightened everything around my eye by adding that shade on the outer V. Very, very nice. I think I'm gonna lay that shade all over my eyelid. Pretty, very pretty. I've literally used those top two shades and I think I'm gonna take this shade, use my finger. It's got a shift going on and I'm gonna put it on so you can see how it's just highlighted everything there and brought it all kind of forward. Very pretty. Honestly, that took like two seconds. You can see how fast I am moving now. I'm gonna take this shade here and line the bottom line with that. Very, very nice. Right, so I'm loving this color story and I'm thinking I need to put some blush on now. And I think either that shade or a combination of the two on my cheeks, I think I'll go with the more pinkier shade here. Going in with my Sonia G brush, which is like the perfect size to hit this color and I'm just gonna dab it on my cheek just to see how it looks initially. You can see the color coming through. Such a versatile color. Again, taking the same color and just doing it on this side of my cheeks, blending it out. Really pretty shade, you can see that coming through on both sides, taking a little bit more. Really lovely. So it's really warmed up my cheeks there. And I might add one of these as like a topper highlighter because I think it's gonna look stunning. I'm gonna take this shade here, take my brush, go into that and put a little bit as a highlight there. And you can see how beautiful that looks, wow. That reminds me of Pat a lot. It's very, very pretty. Doing the same on the other side. Just giving me this gorgeous highlighter vibe. Can you see that there? I'm just blending it out. Really gorgeous. And it's kind of getting me really into the vibe of this sort of pinky look. As it's looking really nice as a highlighter, I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. So the same shade that I've been using as a highlighter and I'm gonna put it on my brow bone, like so. 
very very pretty and they've got these two lighter shades i might put that on the eyelid and maybe that on the inner corner i'm gonna go in with my finger and just tap oh yeah it's just giving that something extra to the lid i mean you can keep it like it was but i wanted to show you how versatile this palette was you can see how that's kind of added something a little bit extra to my lid and then I'm going to go in with that lighter shade as an inner corner now. Again, this has a monochrome shift like the blue one that looks white but actually is more pink. Something different on the inner corner. Really lovely. Okay, so I've just gone away. I've added some mascara, some liner, some brow and a little bit more blush. So I thought I would add a little bit of this one on the lips because that's what we did with the others. So let's see how this looks. Otherwise I'll use the lighter shade. I just wanna see how it changes the lip look at it now. Nice. So it's just elevated it a bit by adding that pink onto the lips and it just created this lovely kind of look all together. Really, really pretty. I am ready to go and see Ray now. I'm all ready, just need to change my clothes and then I'm out of here. Beautiful. So this is the final look, look number three. So this is the final look after trying out three different looks and this is probably my favourite because it's like my colour scheme. I love pinks and purples and they're very complementary to my skin tone. What do I think about this? This is one of the launches of the year. I thought that Dior had won my heart with the foundation launch because they totally blew me out the water with that launch as well as the recent hourglass launches with the holiday palettes which are like selling like hotcakes. This is really, really good. This is the most innovative launch of this year. We're now in kind of September, we're moving into Christmas and there'll be a lot of holiday launches, but this is beautiful. I heard that this is limited edition as well, which is really sad because I think she should have this as something in her permanent collection because it's so clever and so innovative in what it can do. The fact that you can take them out, you can stack them, you can put them in any order you want, you can put them on your cheeks, your lips, your eyes, is just revolutionary. And I am so glad that I picked this up. I wasn't sure because I've never tried her eyeshadows before. I'm very impressed with the quality. I am impressed with how they all blend together and the versatility of the shades and how they look on my skin tone. So I definitely give it a 10 out of 10. I think that you are going to love this if you love playing with colour, with makeup, and you enjoy experimenting. I think only thing I would say is if you're a novice to makeup and you're not that experimental there are not enough shades in here I would say that you could use as a kind of one and done shade there's maybe four shades that you could use as just like a one color but then you'd be wasting all the other shades and you wouldn't use all the other shades and I think that would be such a shame this palette does retail in the UK for 140 something pounds I'll put the price below I was shocked because this is the most expensive palette I've ever bought it's more expensive than the Pat McGrath even when Pat has 10% off this is more expensive but I did have some vouchers Vanessa Myrix is now one of my favorited brands on Sephora so I get an extra 10% and then I had like a five pound voucher I was able to pick this up but I would say that it is an investment piece but if you're a makeup artist if you enjoy color this is beautiful it reminds me of the Natasha Denona palette which I haven't reviewed yet and I will that she brought out 
at the start of her career where I first discovered her when they were huge, these palettes were huge and they were really kind of geared towards makeup artists and I think that this palette definitely reminds me of that. The design is outstanding, the mirror is exceptional to have as part of this. I love the fact you can just build it, take it out, it's all magnetized, it's just so so clever and stackable as well as you know. Please let me know your thoughts, your comments. I am totally in love with this palette. I think it is the GOAT as they call it, the greatest of all time. I am going to put that as my tag on here because a lot of people have said is this and I would say it certainly feels like it. It's the most innovative and most interesting palette I've seen in a long time. Please let me know your comments, your thoughts. Have you picked this up? Are you going to be picking it up? Let me know. I hope this has helped you. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.